Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss omitted measurement in closed traverse. More specifically, we are going to solve an example related to omitted measurement in closed traverse when the length and bearing of a single line in a closed traverse is not measured or missing or it is omitted. Sometime when we are working in a closed traverse, due to any reason, we could not measure the length of that particular line or bearing of that line may be due to some obstruction in between the two points. We could not measure it. But if it is a closed traverse, using the length and bearing of other lines, we can calculate the length and bearing of the missing line. So this is the example that we will be solving to determine the length and bearing of a single line in a closed traverse. In this example, we can see that there are total four lines are there. The length and bearing of three lines are given, but length and bearing of the line cannot be measured or it is being omitted or it was not possible to determine its length and bearing. So therefore, it is required in this example to determine the length and bearing of the line. So let's solve this problem. Let's say that this is the start point of the traverse, the A point. We are being given with the length and bearing of AB line. So length is 75.5 and bearing is 30.24. So this bearing is given and its length is also being given. Similarly, we are also being known to the bearing of BC line, which is 110 degree 36 minutes. Its length is 180.5. Similarly, we are also being given with the bearing of CD line, which is 210 degrees 30 minutes. Length is 60.25 meter. But we don't know the bearing of this DA line and also the length of this line. So therefore, we are going to determine the bearing of this DA line and the length of this DA line. So let's move on. So we are going to have the latitude and departure of each of the line. If you recall from our previous videos, we have discussed that in closed traverse, the start point and end point is same. It means we are coming back to the same point where we have started. Therefore, the net distance or you can say displacement is zero. In other words, you can say that the summation of all those latitudes would be zero and summation of all the departures will also be zero. Departures are actually the projection of the lines on east-west axis and the latitude is actually the projection of the line on north-south axis. The same like uh, the x-axis and y-axis if we talk about in terms of uh, x-coordinate and y-coordinate. So or you can uh, compare this with uh, in terms of uh, forces, vectors, then uh, it's like same when the forces acting on a body is in equilibrium. So then in that case, summation of all forces acting in x direction is equal to zero. Summation of all forces acting in y direction is equal to zero. Same as the case here. So departures are actually summation of all forces or you can say summation of all vectors acting in x direction or you can say components in x direction equal to zero and latitudes are actually the y components so that will be equal to zero. So in closed traverse we are actually moving back to the same point where we have started therefore it's like that. So let me write the length and bearing of each of the line. Now the length of DA is required. Let's name the length as capital L, which is a variable that we have to determine and bearing as theta that we have to determine. So formula for the calculation of the latitude is L cos theta. So 75.5 multiplied by cos 30 degree and 24 minutes. Similarly, the formula for the departure is L sin theta. The length is 75.5 multiplied by sine of 30 degree and 24 minutes. So on doing calculations, we are going to get the latitude of AB line as 65.12 and departure as 38.20. Similarly, for the respective lines, 
Now latitude for the DA line would be simply L cos theta and the departure will be simply L sin theta. Now using these two equations where the summation of uh, latitude is equal to zero and summation of departure is equal to zero. So when summation of uh, latitudes is equal to zero, it means uh, adding all the latitudes in a closed traverse, the value should be coming out to be zero. Therefore, 65.12 minus 63.50 minus 51.91 plus L cos theta equal to zero. Similarly, summation of departures equal to zero. Therefore, 38.20, 168.95 minus 30.57 plus L sine theta equal to zero. So from here, we are going to get L cos theta is equal to whatever value we are going to get. Obviously, that will be negative. And uh, if we shift on the other side, that will be 50.29. And from here, we are going to get the positive value here. So shifting on the other side means negative. So L sine theta is equal to negative 176.58. In other words, we can say that the latitude of the DA line is 50.29 and departure for the DA line is negative 176.58 because L latitude is equal to L cos theta and departure is equal to L sine theta. And we just have got the latitude and departure of the required line. But uh, we don't want the latitude and departure, but we want length and bearing. Length is quite easy to calculate. We can simply calculate uh, using simple mathematics like squaring these two equations and adding them together. So we are going to get then L square cos square theta is equal to square of 50.29. That will be 2529.08. Similarly, squaring this equation, then we are going to get L square sine square theta is equal to square of 176.58 that will be 31180.5 adding these two equations and uh, we are going to get L cos square theta plus L square sine square theta is equal to adding these two values 33709.6 Taking L square common here, we are going to get sine square theta plus cos square theta, which we all know from the basics of trigonometry that will be 1. Therefore, L square is equal to this value, which is 33709.6. So from here, we can get the value of L as 183.6 meters. So obviously we are going to get two values, uh, one negative and other positive because of square, but uh, we know that length can never be negative. So we are taking the positive value. So we just have now calculated the length of the line, the required line, which is 183.6 meters. Now, how about the bearing? It's just not only theta, but it is actually the bearing. Now look closely the value of the latitude and departures that we have got for this required line. L cos theta is equal to 50.29 which is positive value but uh, departure is negative which is 176.58. Now looking at these latitude and departure values if you recall the basics like where this line would be lying depending upon the sign of the latitude and departure we know that uh, in this quadrant in northeast quadrant the departure is all positive and latitude is also positive we know that in northwest quadrant the latitude is positive but departure is negative we also know that in southwest quadrant departure and latitude both are negative and in southeast quadrant we know that departure is positive but latitude is negative now how about this case we have latitude positive but departure negative it means the line is going to lie in this quadrant not this quadrant so we just have calculated the length but we are still lacking with the bearing that we need to determine so the, the line should be lying over here so we know the departure value, we know the latitude value. 
So in other words, you can say that we have this distance, which is departure as 176.58. We also have latitude, which is this distance, or you can say the projection of this line on north-south axis, which is 50.29. So then we can calculate this angle. Let's say that this angle is alpha. So this alpha angle can be calculated uh, using the perpendicular and base. So 10 alpha would be equal to 176.58 divided by 50.29. So from here we will have alpha value. And on doing calculation, we are going to get this alpha value as 74.1 degrees, which is this angle. But we know that bearing is not this alpha angle, not the angle which is measured anti-clockwise from the north, but clockwise angle measured from the north this angle we are talking about therefore the theta which is uh, the required angle the bearing of uh, this line which would be 360 minus alpha 360 degree minus alpha which is which will be then on doing calculations 285.9 degrees so that will be the bearing of the required angle and this is the length of the required angle so this is how the calculation of the omitted measurement will be done when length and bearing of all other lines are given but the length and bearing of one line is missing due to any reason. So using these calculations we can calculate its length and bearing. I hope now you have got concept how we can determine the length and bearing of an omitted line. So this is all from this video. Thank you for watching this video. I believe you are understanding the concepts of traverse computations. But if you have any problem like you are not getting how the calculations are being done, how the quadrants, how we have taken this uh, latitude positive and uh, departures negative in this northwest quadrant, you can refer to my previous videos where I have taught why it's negative and positive. So this is all from this video. Thank you for watching this video.